When train derailments occur, it's usually because of a broken rail or sometimes speeding into a curve. Sometimes trains could even derail after hitting trucks, like an oversized load and even a trailer. One accident did happen in Marysville, Washington 13 years ago today. This is the story of the 2008 Marysville, Washington train crash and derailment 13 years later. On March 17, 2008, a BNSF mixed freight train departed Seattle, Washington at 3.30 a.m. The train was originated from Pasco, Washington, and is now headed towards Vancouver, British Columbia. The train consisted of three BNSF-944 CW locomotives with BNSF 981 leading, which was painted into the H1 scheme, while 4694 and 5097 were trailing. The train had 72 cars, 3 loaded, and 69 empty. The engineer had 15 years experience with BNSF, while the gut doctor had 17 years with BNSF, and 14 years with Union Pacific prior to working for BNSF. The train entered the town of Marysville, Washington at 4.57 a.m., traveling at 49 miles an hour, while the maximum speed on the stretch of track was 60 miles an hour. Meanwhile, a semi-truck was driving towards the nearest Walmart. The truck's trailer was loaded with frozen pizzas and cakes. Everything was going well until the truck driver realized he was lost, so he made a right turn, but it was too fast, so the truck driver stopped his truck so he won't lose control of it. However, he didn't notice that he actually stopped on the tracks, and he also didn't know that an oncoming train was approaching. At the same time, the crew of 981 spotted something in the distance on the tracks. Not knowing what it is, the engineer applies the train's emergency brakes to avoid whatever object is on the tracks. As the train got closer to the crossing, they were in shock to see a truck sitting on the tracks. Despite the brakes being put on, it was still too late to stop in time. Nine eighty one collided with a truck at five oh one AM. The train speed was thirty miles an hour when the impact happened. The force of the impact destroyed the trailer. Some of the sections of the trailer were dragged by the train three blocks away from the crossing until hitting a billboard causing the train to come off the tracks. The lead locomotive remains upright, but it suffered serious damage to its nose and its handrails. The second locomotive was toting, but still remains upright, while the third locomotive derailed but also still remains upright, as did the one car, while the rest of the train remained on the tracks. Luckily, no one was killed, but the truck driver and the engineer of 981 were both taken to the local hospital for injuries. The derailment didn't seem too bad, but it was very costly, resulting in $1 million. But what can cause this derailment to happen like this, and why? Investigators stated that the truck driver got lost on his way to a Walmart, he made a right turn too quickly and was often stopping his truck on the tracks. After completing the investigation, it was determined that it was an accident and the truck driver along with the trucking company was to blame. In the end, the trailer was destroyed and was sent to be scrapped while the three locomotives were repaired and put back into service. But sadly, 981 lost its H1 scheme and was repainted into the H3 scheme. It's been 13 years since this crash, but sadly some accidents like this still happen. But hopefully, an accident like this will never happen again.